Hey, Vegito Blue here. If you want me to return, subscribe to the Holy Dream. He does Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, and other Shonen Jump manga content, and much more. Okay, that Grand Priest is up to something. If you've seen the newest episode of Dragon Ball Super, this basically put the nail in the coffin. Normally, we would see him keep doing these light smirks, but we couldn't tell if the show was just showing us that to show us that this is a serious moment, or this is a serious torment, or if he really was kind of evil. But now it's just like, now it's almost 100% sure he's evil. The way he just looked right after, right before he destroyed her, then when Goku was looking in shock, he just looks at Goku and he just does that evil smirk, kind of like saying, yeah, this is not a joke or I'm aiming for you next. It was kind of creepy. And um, there's basically this theory that I saw, um, um, thing to my friends, um, cred to my friend. Basically, it's, it explains why, um, why the Grand Priest is acting this way. And it might be a good theory, but yeah, let me read it. Um, basically, the person thinks that the purpose of this tournament is to find the strongest warrior in the entire universe and erase him or her. Maybe the Grand Priest doesn't want everybody, anybody to overthrow Zeno because the Grand Priest basically has full control of both the Zenos. And he thinks the purpose of the angels are to keep the God of Destruction in check and make sure they never become as strong as Zeno. And the real job of the God of Destruction is to destroy the planets that inhabit strong warriors. So that kind of goes, goes along with everything. That's why Beerus obviously wants to destroy planet Vegeta. So now that red kind of not Frieza doing it, but Beerus doing it actually has meaning. Because at first I hated it because Frieza's arc was because he destroyed the planet and it bit him in the butt. But now they started saying it was Beerus that made no sense. But if you combine this Beerus destroying planet Vegeta with this storyline, now people aren't going to be mad that the Frieza one got right red kind because this makes even more sense and it's to a bigger story. So I actually like that one. Um, universe 1, 5, 8, and 12 are not in the universe because you're the weakest words in the universe, not actually the strongest, so it might be the twist, so there's no concern to the Grand Priest, but it's just a theory. I really, really like this. It's like, because it doesn't look like he's just 100% wicked, like, evil. It just looks like he has a sinister motive, because, like, not, Dragon Ball Super is becoming more like, mo more and more like modern anime. It's not just black or white, like, good or bad. Now there's people in between, kind of like other popular animes where like Naruto pain isn't 100% bad he's only like 60% the other part he's actually completely right he believes there's no way humans can understand each other so he's just forced to get upon them he's gonna destroy everything to rebuild while Naruto is being fake and he's saying no there's ways for humans to find peace but pain is right just look at the end of the series there's still problems so it's not like you can you can't always be 100% bad or 100% good so even look at somebody like Ashirama, you think he's 100% good? No. He released the Tilled Beast to the other villages and look at the trouble they've caused to all these people. So nobody's 100% good and now Dragon Ball Super is following that. It's not like regular Dragon Ball Z where the storyline doesn't have as much thought. Now it's actually, I like it. But yeah, um, that's a good theory. Um, If you like this theory, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. And don't forget to check out my Instagram and Facebook. But yeah, I'm the whole dream. It's time to wake up and I catch another dream. Bye.